The Frankie DeBusk Show is a special presentation of the Pioneer Sports Network. The Gateway Ford Frankie DeBusk Show with the voice of the Pioneers, Brian Staten and head coach Frankie DeBusk. The Frankie DeBusk Show is presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda, the home of the big deal, located on the Elevity Bypass in Greenville. And brought to you in part by Applebee's, your neighborhood bar and grill. Applebee's, eating good in the neighborhood. Sodexo, a worldwide leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Your Greenville Light and Power System, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. By Green Coach Tours, celebrating their 66th anniversary. By Consumer Credit Union, with three convenient locations in Greenville and Moss High. Creekside Markets, pick up a Hunt Brothers pizza for those football Friday nights or Saturday afternoons. Greenville Federal Bank, Greenville Federal Bank is banking made easy. Laughlin Memorial Hospital, whatever you do, do it well. Andrew Johnson Bank, a strong heritage, a stronger future. Home owned and operated with locations in Morristown, Jonesboro, Johnson City, Cleveland, and Greenville. Grand Rental Station, anything you'll ever need to rent or buy. Special consideration from Comcast Cable. And now, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Tuscaloosa Pioneers and the LR Bears met for the 16th time this past Saturday and a South Atlantic Conference showdown. One team was going to get their second win. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brian Staden with the Frankie DeBus Show presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. It is traditionally a very good contest between the Pioneers and the LR Bears in Hickory. There's usually something on the line. Ricardo Coakley's greatest interception of the Pioneer career likely and a comeback victory that is the greatest in Pioneer history as well in that 2003 season. Or just the fact that maybe LR has their special teams kicker go off for five for five field goals and knock off the Tusculum Pioneers two years ago and win it by three. Something in the contest in Hickory seems to be the one that you look back and think, man, we could have won without that or if they didn't have that. Well, this week, there was nothing like that. The LR Bears, one of the top running teams in the country now, number one in the nation, a pass over 600 yards of offense, but up 51 points, the most they've scored ever against the Tusculum Pioneers. Tusculum's offense was stymied by a good LR defense as the Pioneers fall to LR by a final score of 51-6. to six. We welcome in Pioneer coach Frankie DeBusk, and I'm sure there's better days, um, but there are contributing factors to that. One, LR's defense is good, and their running offense is pretty good as well. Really good football team. They uh, had a good plan against us and executed what they needed to get done and uh, unfortunately we didn't. We, uh, we allowed 500 yards plus rushing, which uh, you're not going to win many ball games when you do that. Uh, unfortunately, we put the ball on the ground five times from an offensive standpoint. Gave them the football in, in great territory. Only took a couple plays for them to score and just about all five occasions and you know, we've uh, we found another way to unfortunately not win a ball game instead of sitting here talking about drop passes and execution. We uh, turned it over five times, and we've got to we've got to hang on the football. If you uh, have five turnovers, I don't know that you're going to win many ball games. And we uh, took one on the chin. It's just an old-fashioned take you out behind the barn and beat you with a stick. And we've got to rebound. And you know, the, the coaches have got to rebound more than the players. The players are going to be fine. We'll go back to work and. Had a great week of practice. We just got to go back and finish it. The and Pioneers again fall to the LR Bears. We'll take a look at it when we go through our quarters right after this. This is the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Gateway Ford on Highway 11E is rapidly becoming the number one Ford dealer in the region. We're changing the car business for the better. Buying a car has never been easier. No add-on stickers. Plus, we'll appraise your car right up front. You pick the car you like and have your best price in less than 30 minutes. Plus, at Gateway, you'll receive a lifetime powertrain warranty on every new vehicle purchased. The clear choice. Gateway Ford, home of the big deal on Highway 11E in Greenville. Applebee's 2 for 20 is back and fresher than ever. Whoa. Hey, Chris. Nice. Hi, Jesse. Hey. Ready to order? Yep, 2 for 20. One appetizer, two entrees, and layers of fresh flavor. So, who's paying this week? Uh, call it in the air. Tails. <laughs> 
Pony Up Palmer. So come on in for new favorites like new creamy chicken fettuccine carbonara, new bruschetta chicken, or classics like the 7-ounce house sirloin. That's one appetizer, two entrees, 20 bucks. You got off easy, my friend. It's the freshest two for 20 yet, only at Applebee's. Now serving half-price appetizers late night. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Welcome back into the Frankie DeBusk Show, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Pioneers fall to the LR Bears this past Saturday as they fall 51 to 6, go to 1 and 2 in league play as LR improves to 2 and 1. To see kind of how it unfolded and the fumbles that we usually talk about the opponents, we'll talk about it for ourselves this week. Let's take a look at our first quarter highlights presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Brown, we get the football first and uh, I'm, I'm excited about what things we're capable of doing and hopefully we've ironed out some of our issues and we're gonna catch the football a little better and their head coach actually before the game said, I hope Bo Cordell doesn't have one of the days he had when he was in here before and throws for, for record numbers. And I thought we were gonna come out of there on this one. It's Brian Marshall again, hitting the hole like a champ and, First play from scrimmage here, Bo Cordell hits Kenny Funny, who's a redshirt freshman, and picks up 30 yards, and we look like we're ready to rock and roll. The Pioneers, Brian Marshall, third in the conference in kickoff return. Kenny Funny, his longest reception since his touchdown catch against Urbana in week number one. So the Pioneers have it first and 10, but uh, I go a little backwards here. We were kind of talking about the passes you complete from minus yardage, and this would be one of them, but uh, LR's front four defensively led by Jason Arellis. Uh, comes up with the big play in the middle. They got a good football team, but we run two plays here in a row for negative yards. We got to do a better job. I mean, credit to them for playing hard, but uh, we, we got to do what we're asked to do, block when we're asked to block. And you know, all of a sudden it puts us in third and long, and uh, just uh, we, we can't start the ball game this way. Bo Cordell looking for Justin Houston. So Andy Rossetti asked to do what he has basically done all year long, try to pin the opposition deep, and he does it once again. Phenomenal punt. Um, Andy Rossetti's really having a great year right now, and uh, you know I, that ball should have went in the end zone. I guess that's one of the lucky bounces we got on the day. But our guys do a good job getting downfield and covering it, and we start them inside their own 10-yard uh, line. So LR with the bare bone attack with Coach Fred Goldsmith and outside contain kind of lost the contain, and Jared Spears he had under 20 carries on the year, but he was the second leading rusher for the LR Bears. This one goes for 74 yards. He is brought down, touchdown saving tackle by Iram Aiken. A misalignment by one of our corners and uh, didn't have the pitch when we were supposed to. We knew going into the game we had to do better. And here they put the dang ball on the ground and we're so close to getting it. We talked about before the game, the ball's going to be put on the ground. We had to get it. They fumbled it three times in a row here and we come up with none of them. Now here's an opportunity. I don't know how we didn't get that ball. If we scoop in that, that thing and score for 95 yards, the, the day's a completely different day. Aaron Morgan, John Perry, uh, you see two other white jerseys there, but it was Reuben Haynes who was able to hold it on third down and goal from about the uh, three yard line and even Kashad Lyons seems a little distraught as he comes up. So they kick a field goal and the Bears lead it three to nothing. Pioneers would um, kick punt it away to LR and then Tuscan's defense really stood on their head here as uh, the Pioneers. Here's Kevin Bless and Damian Herring with stops right up the middle and again it's second down and six and something they don't do very well and that's pass the football. They did it effectively enough on this day. Yeah, you know, we're, we're making good effort here trying to break up a pass and and we're, uh, we've settled down somewhat defensively. We had five plays on the day that had over 200 yards rushing. That if we eliminate those five plays, it's a completely different ball game. But just like the five fumbles, we hold them here and make them uh, you know, have to do some serious thinking. And we get the football back, and uh, we just got to make some good things happen. The Pioneers do get the stop. West Powell, a, a rough couple of weeks for Wes. Yeah, unfortunately, he's got to make that catch there. He's trying to turn before he catches the football. And Bo made a good throw once again. I think Bo's playing exceptionally well. And, here we, uh, we put the ball on the ground. Uh, Jonathan Delberto catches the ball. We've got the first down, and I think we were going to lose the first down, but unfortunately put the ball on the ground and give it to them on the 25-yard line. Not ideal when you're playing a good offensive football team. The Pioneers there, at third down to nine, had the first down with Delberto. Fumble it. Uh, LR would go 10 plays, took 34 yards, but they would go 10 plays, get into the end zone, lead it 10 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter highlights when we come back with more after this. The Frankie DeBus Show presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. 
Gateway Ford on Highway 11E is rapidly becoming the number one Ford dealer in the region. We're changing the car business for the better. Buying a car has never been easier. No add-on stickers. Plus, we'll appraise your car right up front. You pick the car you like and have your best price in less than 30 minutes. Plus, at Gateway, you'll receive a lifetime powertrain warranty on every new vehicle purchased. The clear choice. Gateway Ford, home of the big deal on Highway 11E in Greenville. Your Greenville Light and Power System, an electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. Green Coach Charters and Tours has been proudly serving the traveling public for over 65 years and is the official carrier of Tunsculum College Athletics. If you have never traveled by Green Coach, may we invite you to join them for an exciting travel adventure. Visit online at greencoach.com. Showtime. Uh -huh. You know what it is. Everything we do, we do it big. Uh -huh. Screaming that's not When we step up on the field, that's not a small town, but we still do it very big. Back in ours, back in ours, back in ours, back in ours. We grind all for the rings with the diamonds on it. Back in ours, back in ours, back in ours, back in ours. Pioneers trail 10 to nothing heading into the second quarter. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. It's time now to take a look at our second quarter when we pick up the action. The LR Bears will have the football driving into Pioneer territory once again. LR came into the contest with 19 fumbles and 10 lost on the season. Pioneers are about to receive the 20th and the 11th on the year. Second quarter presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. And we talk about playing this style of offense. They're probably going to put it on the ground, and we're at the right place at the right time, fortunately. Uh, and we try to jar it loose there, and our guys inside are playing really hard. I'm so proud of how Damian Herring's playing, junior from down the Atlanta area. He's our defensive player of the week. But really grown up. I told him at practice during the week I've watched him grow up. Kashad Lyons, sophomore from down Atlanta. I'm just watching those guys get better and better and better. And, uh, you know, we, we, we again, got to have alignment assignment responsibility here, and we turn one loose. Ruben Haynes goes for 35 yards, again a big day, three over 100 yards rushing for the LR Bears, but Pioneers get a stop, Damian Herring forces a fumble, Kevin Bless jumps on top of Great it. Great job, our guys up front, two defensive linemen there, you know, Kevin's a red shirt, or actually a freshman from up in New Jersey that we're counting, some, doing some big counting on him in the future, and hopefully he'll respond and get better and better as we keep playing, but proud of him being able to get on that fumble. Pioneers will have the football and a uh, big run for Chad Blakely up the middle met by Demetrius Green. Yeah, good job getting us six yards there on first down. Uh, I feel like, Brown, we're, we're, we're having to execute so perfect for things to happen, but it's good when we get a positive start, and then unfortunately we go the wrong way on the next play. We've got to do a better job up front. Blake Baker, uh, one of the defensive linemen for the LR Bears, a uh, big day for him as he comes up with the stop three yards behind the line. So third down and seven, and you find your go-to type guy, and that's Xavion Smith. Great throw, great protection, great catch, great job of hanging on with the football. That's one of those times that the way X was hit, it, uh, he's most likely going to fumble, but he didn't. Uh, great job converting on first down there, and we're moving the chains. But a good job keeping him hemmed up. You see X trying to make the crossing pattern, and LR had that hemmed up on the day for the most part, those crossing patterns. But X wasn't the factor that he has been second in the conference in receiving yards per game. Out of the backfield, Chad Blakely takes a bone-jarring hit, picked up by Tanner Botts of LR. Yeah, unfortunately, we put the ball on the ground, and great effort there. I think that's Kyle Dickey that runs the guy down after Bo's trying to keep him from scoring, and got to give those guys some credit. They uh, actually looked like they were going to scoop and score, but kept now the end zone, and then unfortunately we, uh, we turn right around, and our defense uh, doesn't keep contained, and then there they go once again in the end zone. Unfortunately, whenever the Pioneers did put it on the ground, it would appear as if LR was able to come right back. So there's two fumbles and two touchdowns for the LR Bears. They make it 17 to nothing on the extra point. Pioneers would have the football first and 10, Bo Cordell finding Brian Marshall. Yeah, you know, Brian's been a, a real weapon for us. I hope he continues and can stay healthy. We've played him a little bit everywhere, and he's so good with the ball in his hands. And head coach from LR was actually commenting about that before the game and think Brian, thinks Brian's a good player, as we do as well. Here we hit him out of the backfield. Well, we missed him, actually, out of the backfield there. But we're trying a lot of different ways to get him to football. For the Pioneers facing second down and 10. Again, uh, Brian Marshall, uh, the only back in school history over 1,000 yards receiving and 1,000 yards rushing. Again, lining him up 
outside in the slot and he makes a catch tiptoeing on the line for a gain of about four and then uh, this is the play that kind of typifies the day for Bo Cordell. Uh, you throw into coverage, guy makes a great catch, but Justin Houston, just as he's going to the ground, loses the football. Yeah, great job of their guy putting uh, his hand on the football, knocking it loose, picking it up, and thank goodness we get him on the ground. But uh, again, we cannot fumble the football, and that's the third time we've done it to you early in the ball game. Took just a couple of plays. This is the second play after a 14-yard pass. Reuben Haynes goes around right in, and he'll take it into the end zone for his third touchdown of the season. We're not performing very well at either side of the ball, Brian. Our kids are starting to second guess what's going on. And uh, again, we've given them the ball in easy situations to score and we've got to stop them defensively. But here's a bright spot. Uh, Matt Levine, what a great catch going up and getting it. Uh, guy we've thrown out there on the outside, made three or four really big plays in this ball game. Matt Levine looked an awful lot like Ricardo Coakley's interception from 2003. Basically uh, the same height, same area of the field as well, it just wasn't with one hand. So the Pioneers move the football, third down and four, Matt Levine again for nine yards. It's first down and 10, it's the Matt Levine highlight as the Pioneers get deep into LR territory. A yeah, great throw, great catch. Matt hanging on the football, gets us down to the 20. Uh, Matt's made some big catches on this drive. Hopefully it's just the start of some good things that he'll be able to bring to the table eventually. Pioneers were turned away, two sacks by LR, turnover on down. So the Pioneers do get a stop. Uh, actually, uh, LR does get a touchdown. They lead it 31 to nothing. So the Pioneers just before the half. Cordell finds Trey McCoy for 13 yards out of the backfield. Young freshman out of Anderson County High School. And then it's third down and 11. You need a big play. Well, go to the guy who has brought you here right now, and that's Xavion Smith. Great catch there by X. Uh, proud of him, you know, being brave and going across the middle there and showing a lot of courage. And here we have some good protection. We have a good throw, and this is a phenomenal catch once again. Matt Levine. You know, there's no reason he should probably make that catch, but he does, gets his foot down and gets us inside the 20 once again. So he, uh, Matt made some really big plays. Really, really proud of how he played. It is also a third down play for the Pioneers and Cordell finding uh, Matt Levine for 27 yards. Drive continues, and this is Kenny Funny. Funny, uh, trying to do a good job, playing actually with uh, some strength right there as he tried to break some tackles. And then Brian Marshall with his first rece receiving touchdown of the year. Great throw by Bo, good protection up front, offensive line keeping him out of there, and Brian deservingly gets a touchdown. And you mentioned Kenny Funny there. He's finally starting to grow up a little bit, and you know it's, he's, he's now played uh, six college football games, so I'm not sure we should expect much more than that, but uh, he's going to be an electrifying player once he gets his uh, feet wet. Pioneers would miss the extra point as it was uh, pushed just a little bit right for uh, Logan Cornelius. And again, uh, we talk a little bit about kicking. Logan Cornelius is still the uh, most accurate place kicker in school history as it stands right now, but did miss that one. So right now at the half, LR in control of it, leading it 31 to six. We'll take a look at our second half when the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda, continues. Gateway Ford on Highway 11E is rapidly becoming the number one Ford dealer in the region. We're changing the car business for the better. Buying a car has never been easier. No add-on stickers. Plus, we'll appraise your car right up front. You pick the car you like and have your best price in less than 30 minutes. Plus, at Gateway, you'll receive a lifetime powertrain warranty on every new vehicle purchased. The clear choice. Gateway Ford, home of the big deal on Highway 11E in Greenville. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo proudly serves Tusculum College and supports Pioneer football. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Andrew Johnson Bank was founded on conservative banking principles. Over the last 30 years, they have steadily built their balance sheet and increased capital by following prudent lending principles and avoiding risky investments. In uncertain times, you can continue to count on Andrew Johnson Bank. Your locally owned community bank. A strong heritage, a stronger future. Andrew Johnson Bank, member FDIC. Joyce hey. Slavin is going to go deep. He's looking for Xavion Smith. Caught it at the 29, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, into the end zone. Touchdown, Pioneers. Touchdown, Xavion Smith. Welcome back into the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Forward, Lincoln Mazda. We move into the second half. The LR Bears had the ball to start the second half, and on the first possession would drive down the field, kept out of the end zone, but kick a field goal and lead it 
34 to 6. We'll pick up the coverage after the Pioneers have punted the football away, and LR has the ball in their own territory. The third quarter presented by Gateway Forward Lincoln Mazda. So Brian, I told our kids at the half we were going to go out here and, and give it everything we had, try to put ourselves in position to win this football game. We've been here before, unfortunately, and uh, we played a little better second half, but we gave up too many plays, and they end up uh, slowing down the pace of the play, trying to run the clock is a good game plan, but there you see us tackling the dive and keeping from having any success. Austin Beatty for four yards, but Ruben Haynes uh, here keeps the ball around the right end and would take it for 30 yards. Yeah, we got to make the play on the quarterback there. Our drop in's got responsibility and got to make that play, and unfortunately we uh, we don't. I don't know if that's a drop in or the strong safety. One of those guys have got to play the quarterback when we got him. And, here, fortunately, we uh, jar the ball loose. Brian Alexander makes a great play, knocks it loose, and also comes up with the football. Brian Alexander wearing number one, had a little jersey snafu, is typical 38, as uh, Brian Alexander leads the team in tackles with 69 tackles, finished again with 10 tackles in the game. So the Pioneer football team comes out with the ball, and on first down and 10 here from the 36, Bo Cordell finding uh, uh, Brian Marshall for five and would eventually find B.J. Spradlin. A good job here, just uh, hitting the little things out of the end zone. That's Kyle Dickey making a big catch, getting us a big first down, I believe. And uh, we're, we're feeling a little life, moving the chains, and doing the little things we need to do to be successful. Bo Cordell now, B.J. Spradlin up the middle. Really tough run. And again, it was tough to hang on to this football today as he is ripped of the ball with three guys around him for the Pioneers' third fumble of the game. Unfortunately, we've got to hang on to the ball. I don't know if the, his momentum had stopped there, but still the whistle hadn't blown, and we gotta, we got to hang on to the ball. Joe Anderson picks it up and returns it. Again, something LR doesn't do very good this year is throw the football, but they run it so well it sets up this and really just a good catch. That was a good throw, good catch. We got, uh, looks like Luke's the problem there, but we got some responsibility by another young man. It's got to go make the play, and uh, we're, we're living and learning. We got a lot of young players over there. Hopefully the mistakes that we're making we can eliminate and not make uh, in the future. 41-6, to six, the LR Bears leading the uh, Tusculum Pioneers, another bright spot. Uh, Brian Marshall wasn't back there returning the kick, so uh, Justin Houston goes back to return a kick. Happy for Justin. Uh, got, come sneaking out of there. I thought he was going to burst out of there and give us a big play, and here we're moving to change. I think that's big Trey McCoy, true freshman. And again, you've mentioned him earlier, and Trey's trying hard to, to learn his way, and really uh, at this point in the season has, has been very, very impressive. McCoy again on a carry after a gain of 13. This time lost the football, and again, LR picks it up and uh, starts returning it. And uh, again, on the sidelines, you've got to have this sense of frustration right it's, now. It's uh, truly getting almost comical. I'm not real sure why we're putting it on the ground, but we are, and you know, we're, uh, we're trying. We're just we're just letting just letting bad things happen. And the LR Bears would kick a field goal, and they would lead at the end. Actually, as we pick up here at the end of the third on that fourth fumble, LR would eventually score yet another touchdown. They were leading it 44 to six at the end of three. We'll pick up the fourth quarter when we return right after this. The Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Monster. Gateway Ford on Highway 11E is rapidly becoming the number one Ford dealer in the region. We're changing the car business for the better. Buying a car has never been easier. No add-on stickers. Plus, we'll appraise your car right up front. You pick the car you like and have your best price in less than 30 minutes. Plus, at Gateway, you'll receive a lifetime powertrain warranty on every new vehicle purchased. The clear choice. Gateway Ford, home of the big deal on Highway 11E in Greenville. Creekside Market has three locations in Southern Greene County to serve, so while you're traveling to or from any game, stop by and pick up a Hunt Brothers pizza for those football Friday nights or Saturday afternoons. Creekside Market just off the 107, locations on the Asheville Highway, Camp Creek, and the Irwin Highway. Creekside Markets in Greene County. Consumer Credit Union. Loans? We can do that. Three locations in Greenville and Mossheim. At Consumer Credit Union, everybody can join. Visit online at ConsumerCreditUnion.com. Cornelius will attempt a 41-yard effort. The kick is away, end over end toward the upright, and he splits them. Welcome back into the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. The LR Bears would lead 44-6 at the end of three, and would tack on another one after the fumble. So 51-6 right now for the Pioneers as we pick up our coverage of the fourth quarter, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. Been a long day for the Pioneers up to this point, Brian. We're just trying to grasp for straws, and we need to talk about bright spots because Andy Rossetti, uh, once again, has had an unbelievable year. 
this is just a great punt. Uh, great job doing what he's coached to do. We got to get down the field there. We've got to get him on the ground. You know, they blocked us in the back. We probably do make that tackle. And this play comes back. But Andy actually makes the tackle himself there, and or he and I guess uh, Isaiah Rutledge together. But Andy's just really performing well, and hope he can keep it going and keep playing like he's uh, been playing to this point. LR moving the ball once again, but uh, Brian Alexander. Um, not really sure where you be. You see the two guys right there in that frame, Brian Alexander, Luke Harris. Those are your two leading tacklers. And uh, Brian makes his 29th hit behind the line, which uh, surpasses that of Ryan L. Butler. That's his 214th tackle of his uh, Pioneer football career. And we'll talk a little bit more about where that ranks. Uh, Brian's just a very unselfish player. He's playing a new position this year and really proud of his efforts. You mentioned Luke as well. Those two guys are just, you know, our, our, our meat and potatoes over there on defense. And unfortunately, Luke's career is coming to an end. But fortunately, we get Brian back for another. Unfortunately for the Pioneers as well, they fall to the LR Bears 51-6. to It extends the road losing streak just a little bit. Um, now that's 10 games, and that's something obviously the Pioneers would like to erase. Um, have a couple of weeks before they have to do that. Before we kind of wrap it up, though, Coach, against LR, again, it's, a, it's an opportunistic team that, that took advantage. I think of our mistakes, and you can eliminate – what, uh, eight plays in this game and, and probably feel as if you were still pretty competitive. Yeah, you know, we've uh, we've been on the other side of that coin a lot of times here in, in my career, and it never tastes very good when you take one like that. You know, they outplayed us. They were a better football team. We turned it over. We gave up too many big plays. Uh, we didn't tackle the quarterback. We had responsibilities, and um, they had a good game plan. They got a good football team. Total uh, hats off to them, but we sure made it a lot easier on them by the mistakes that we made. And, uh, the sour taste is a very sour one. Hopefully we'll remember it for a long time and go back to work and try to find a way to overcome. LR Bears won the conference last year, tied with the conference with the Mars Hill Lions. Missed on the playoffs, likely because of the loss to the Pioneers. They fell at Pioneer Field. So they avenge some, or exact some revenge against the Pioneers, I guess, as you could say, and win the football game 51-6. It was their sixth win in the series all time against the Pioneers in the 16th meeting. We'll come back and talk about some of the guys who had a big day for the Pioneers when we return right after this. The Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mile. Gateway Ford on Highway 11E is rapidly becoming the number one Ford dealer in the region. We're changing the car business for the better. Buying a car has never been easier. No add-on stickers. Plus, we'll appraise your car right up front. You pick the car you like and have your best price in less than 30 minutes. Plus, at Gateway, you'll receive a lifetime powertrain warranty on every new vehicle purchased. The clear choice. Gateway Ford, home of the big deal on Highway 11E in Greenville. You are Greenville Light and Power System, an electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Welcome into the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. It's time now to meet our Players of the Week. We'll start on offense. Our Sodexo Offensive Player of the Week hails from Anderson, South Carolina. Another one of these great wide receivers, Xavion Smith from Anderson, South Carolina. But this week's honor goes to Matt Levine, just a sophomore out of Anderson from Westside High School, a career best five receptions and a career best 82 yards receiving for Matt Levine. Our Greenville Light and Power Defensive Players of the Week Damian Herring, the junior out of Stockbridge, Georgia, Martin Luther King High School, finished with the career best 13 tackles and forced to fumble. For the season now, 32 tackles. For his career, 79 tackles, five for loss, a sack, and two fumble recoveries. Our other Greenville Light and Power Defensive Player of the Week is a guy who's been there every week. Haven't had to change his face once. Brian Alexander, the junior, out of Union Point, Georgia, from Greene County High School. Another 10-tackle day for the junior. A tackle for loss, a fumble recovery, and a forced fumble. 69 tackles on the year for Brian. He is first in on the team, second in the conference, and in the top 40 in the nation. He has eight tackles for loss, four sacks, three pass breakups, a couple of quarterback hurries, a block, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. Plus, I think he sold popcorn at halftime of one game. And oh, by the way, one homecoming king. For his career, 214 tackles, which is 10th in school history. His 29 tackles for loss rank 9th in school history. The Green Coach Tour Special Teams Players of the Week. 
Skyler West Newport, the senior out of Oneida, Tennessee, from Oneida High School, the long snapper for the Pioneers, the only All-American in school history at long snapper, and he did finish with the tackle. Plus, Andy Rossetti, the junior out of Kenneth City, Florida, from St. Petersburg High School, finished with six punts, a 43.8-yard average, a long of 64, and pinned the opposition, LR, three times inside the 20, including two times inside the 10. Time now for our Andrew Johnson Bank call of the game. It was an insane catch if you've missed it already, but it was Matt Levine in the second quarter. Cordell, third down, looking for Matt Levine. It goes up, makes a wonderful catch in coverage inside the 20 to the 18 to the 17 yard line. Matt Levine, a coming out party for this young man here today. It's time now for our Creekside Market post-game wrap-up. In the contest, the Pioneers didn't have bad numbers, but LR had gaudy numbers, gaudy enough numbers for them now to be known as the nation's number one rushing offense. They finished with 569 yards rushing to the Pioneers, 34. For the Pioneers, they did throw for 303 yards. Bo Cordell, 32 of 40, or the Pioneers quarterbacks were 32 of 45. No interceptions on the day. Bo Cordell did have the passing touchdown to Brian Marshall. LR was four of eight passing for 71 yards. Total plays, uh, 73 for the Pioneers. Not bad, 337 yards. LR, 77 plays, 640 yards of offense. Average yards per play, LR, 8.3, Tusculum, 4.6. Big stat, really the storyline of the game, the five fumbles, the five lost fumbles for Tusculum. LR fumbled it four times and lost two. And Rizzetti, again, a big day punting, a 43.8 yard average. Pioneers, 25 minutes of time of possession to LR's 34. Tusculum converted seven third down, seven of 16. LR was eight of 15, but in the red zone, the Pioneers were just one for two. LR finishing six of six in the red zone. When we come back, we'll wrap it up. Look ahead to the Newberry Wolves for, our, for Local Heroes Day on Saturday uh, at Pioneer Field. That's when the Frankie DeBus Show continues after this, presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Dean, what's wrong? We all want to go to the game, but I just don't think they have a car big enough for all of us. Don't worry, Dean. My dad's inside Gateway right now buying us a new SUV that can fit all of us. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's go! Hey, Ty, you ready to go to the game? Yeah, I'm ready to go, Dad, but we have some new people wanting to go to the game. Well, let's go! Yeah! I see you, Dad, world. I'm Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk, asking you, like I do my son Ty, to support the Tusculum College Athletics all year long. And for your next car buying experience, please visit Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. Go Pioneers! The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the two for 20 mil only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo proudly serves Tusculum College and supports Pioneer football. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Welcome back into the Frankie DeBus Show, presented by Gateway Ford, Lincoln Mazda. The Pioneers fall to LR this past Saturday, 51 to six. It's Tusculum to two, one and two in league play. LR improves to two and one in the league. Chance to erase a lot of that. We welcome the Newberry Wolves to a Pioneer Field at the Dice Wonger Sports Complex. Very similar for what, three or four years ago. This was a South Carolina rivalry. There's a few more kids from the state of Georgia on this Pioneer football team, but still. South Carolina connections are there, and Newberry will come in. It's always a great rivalry game. Well, I hope it will be as well. You know, Brian, they started off really hot, uh, won four in a row, were 4-0, and oh, played all four at home, uh, and then they've lost the last three. Right now, I'm sure they're, they're, they're second-guessing and questioning themselves a lot like we are. It uh, just uh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I hope our football yeah. teams both show up and play with a lot of heart and a lot of passion. And, we go out there and eliminate some mistakes, get out some frustration, and hopefully you'll see a different football team. Last year, the Pioneers, Mark Cole told me, he says, I look for the long ball a lot, especially early. Uh, it, it happened that way. Tusculum built a big lead, and then if you recall, uh, it was the quarterback you'll see. I think it's W.T. Merton. Mm -hmm. um, 
they utilized the ground game a little bit more. Newberry became a running team for a passing offense. Do you expect more of the same against them this, this year? Well, they actually have been rushing the football exceptionally well. Um, they got some big running backs. They got a stable full of them. They keep bringing them out, and a couple of their starters didn't play in their last ball game. I don't know why. Maybe we'll see them. Maybe we won't. But they got a very, very, very athletic wide receiver, number four, a uh, young man actually that we recruited and tried to get to come here, and Corey Washington. I expect him to. I expect him to throw some jump balls his way. I hope he can make some plays on it. But they'll come in here with uh, with an attitude of trying to win the ball game and uh, trying to set the tempo early. And we got to do our part defensively to keep that from happening. It's Local Heroes Day. It's kind of a chance for us to uh, congratulate, honor, recognize a lot of the guys in town who uh, risk their lives every day for us. We've given some special invitations. Uh, fire departments, police departments all around the Greenville, Green County, the surrounding area in East Tennessee. And those guys do a lot for us, uh, probably more behind the scenes than we realize. And hopefully we'll have a lot of people at the game that can appreciate and respect that, that actual day. All right, it is the third Saturday in October. We understand that. But there's not another game until much later. Pioneers will kick it off at 1.30. Join us for Tusculum versus Newberry on the Pioneer Sports Network or at the field, the nice longer sports complex at Pioneer Field. We'll begin our coverage at 12.30. Kickoff will be at 1.30 on the Pioneer Sports Network, AM 1450 WSMG, or worldwide through TusculumPioneers.com. We hope to see you at the game. For everyone behind the scenes, Quentin Talley, thanks to Matt Carr this week, and for Nathan Humbert, Coach Pioneer, Pi Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk, I'm Brian Staten. Until next week, go Pioneers. This has been the Frankie DeBusk Show with head coach Frankie DeBusk. Featuring coaches' interviews, player spotlights, highlights, and statistical breakdowns. Presented by Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. The home of the big deal. Located on the 11E Bypass in Greenville. And brought to you in part by Applebee's, your neighborhood bar and grill. There's no place like the neighborhood. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Your Greenville Light and Power System, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Andrew Johnson Bank, a strong heritage, a stronger future. Home owned and operated with locations in Greenville, Morristown, Jonesboro, Johnson City, and Cleveland. Grand Rental Station, anything you'll ever need to rent or buy. Consumer Credit Union, with three convenient locations in Greenville and Moss High. Creekside Markets, don't pass by, stop by, with three locations in Green County. Laughlin Memorial Hospital, whatever you do, do it well by Green Coach Tour, celebrating their 66th anniversary. Special consideration from Comcast Cable. The Gateway Ford Frankie DeBusk Show is a special presentation of the Pioneer Sports Network.